Hey there, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I want to talk about some probability examples. So I'm just going to be doing some examples uh, from some problems that I might see on an, on, in an AP stats class um, or a statistics class where we're de dealing with um, percentages. So we know a percent of a population and uh, we're going to be picking out you know people out of that population and um, we're going to do some probabilities with those. So they're not quite, you know, we're not really doing like, you know, we're, we're picking marbles out of a bag. We're not and those of you that have me as a teacher, um, you know that I've used that example quite often um, because that seems to be the classic example of probability, you know, picking cards out of a deck of cards or picking or using dice or picking uh, marbles out of a bag. And um, those are the classic examples, but, you know, not in, in real life, we don't really get those examples all too often. So um, I've got my example here, and the problem is a census report for a certain community indicates that 35% of residents classify themselves as Catholic, 27% as other Christian, 12% as Jewish, and 16% as members of other religions like Muslims, Buddhists, and so forth. The remaining classify themselves as non-religious. A polling organization would like to conduct a survey about public opinion of a certain political issue and wants to make sure that they get a variety of religious views. They're going to make random phone calls. So what's the probability that they call two Catholics in a row? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we understand that all of these probabilities, since we're looking at a population, the probabilities, these percentages must add to 100. Okay, so 35% are Catholic. So I'm just going to make a note of this. I've got 35% Catholic, 27% other Christian, 12% Jewish, and 16% other religions. And then we've got some that are non-religious. They don't tell us the percent. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to move this around here a little bit. Get my calculator out. We're going to have to figure out what that percent is. So we're just going to take, we're going to take 100 uh, minus 35 minus 27 minus 12 minus 16. And we're going to get 10. So the remaining is 10. So we've got 10% here. And whenever we're dealing with um, deaths, whenever we're dealing with probabilities, especially when they're in percentages, we're going to want to convert these into their decimal. So you'll notice here when I'm doing my work, I'm going to have their decimal equivalent. All right, so let's get to the question. What is the probability that they call two Catholics in a row? What I like to do is I like to write down what exactly is happening. I'm going to call two people. The first person is going to be Catholic. And then the second person is going to be Catholic. So really, if I write this in terms of probability, it's going to be the probability of getting a Catholic times the probability of getting a Catholic because I'm getting a Catholic once and then another Catholic. Okay, well, so what's the probability of getting a Catholic? So we're going to go up here and we've got 35% of the residences are Catholic. So if we randomly select out of this population, our probability of getting one is going to be point Three, five times the probability. Well, it's two in a row, so point three five, and we're going to multiply that together. So we get point three five times point three five, and we get point one two two five. And for the most part, we're going to want to, you know, we can display this as a percent. So 12.25%. I do want to make sure that you understand. Uh, we, we kind of want to always use four decimal places, at least four decimal places, you know, really at least three when we're talking about percentages and probability. So our answer here is 12.25% is our probability that we call two Catholics in a row. All right. So what is the probability that they call a Catholic than a Jew? So uh, we've got Catholics are uh, 20, I'm sorry, 35 percent Catholic. So we're going to get we're going to first we're going to call a Catholic person, someone that is Catholic. Then we're going to call someone that is Jewish. And it's going to be in that particular order. So we're doing the probability of calling a Catholic times the probability of calling somebody that is Jewish and this again it's in a particular order this doesn't say a Jew then a Catholic we can't we don't want to switch this around so we've got to keep it in order here so the probability of getting a Catholic is 0.35 
and the probability of getting someone that is Jewish is 0.12. And I'm going to multiply those together. So 0.35 times 0.12 is 0 0.042. Or we can write it as 4.2%. All right, so that's how we do that one. Now, I've got another one here that's going to be a slightly different in the wording. It says, same question here, guys, same question. Let me write down this is 10%. What is the probability that they call a Muslim and someone that is non-religious? So in this case, it's not just it's not just calling um, a Muslim then someone that's non-religious. We can call somebody that's Muslim and then somebody that's non-religious, or we can call the first person could be non-religious and then the second person Muslim. Either of these two situations will work. So we have to find the probability of getting this situation and the probability of getting this situation and then add them together because we got an or here. So we're looking at the probability of getting a Muslim times the probability of getting someone non-religious plus the probability of getting someone non-religious times the probability of somebody that is Muslim. All right, so the probability of getting a Muslim is 0.16. Well, you know, we're talking about Muslim or other, so we should actually probably say, um, you know, this is an other religion. That's probably the better way to say it because we don't know how many Muslims and Buddhists, we don't know the exact percentages in here, which is, you know, we probably want to say in this problem, other religions. So 0.16, um, non-religious was 0.10. We got that from 10% plus 0 0.10 times 0 0.16. Okay, so we are going to do that. 0 0.16 times 0 0.10 times 2, 0 0.032. Okay, or we can say that's 3.2%. All right, not too bad. We just got to remember that order does make a difference in this case. So what is the probability that among the first four people, oh, so we're, we got more people here, right? So we might have to consider more options. This is just two people. They call all our Christians. So that means Catholic or other Christian because, you know, Catholic is a type of Christian. So um, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to add up the percentage here and here to get our you know, Catholic or other Christian, and that's going to be um, 30, 40, 50, 62 percent are going to be some sort of Christian, either Catholic or other Christian. Um, all are Christian. That means my first person is going to be Christian, then my second person is going to be Christian, and then my third person is going to be Christian, and my fourth person is going to be Christian. This is the only op option, right? So I'm going to have 0 0.62 times 0.62 times 0.62 times 0.62. All four of them. Okay, probability of getting each one to be Christian. Um, so I'm going to get 0.62 and I can just raise that to the fourth power because I got four of them, right? So 0 0.1478 0 0.1478 or 14.78 percent all right there you go for that one all right last one here at least one person is non-religious oh my goodness so if we're thinking about this at least one person it could be you know uh, I can have one person non-religious out of the four or two out of the four or three out of the four or four out of the four right so this is at least one which means it could be one it could be two, it could be three, it could be four. So let me write this down. Could be one, two, three, or four out of four. Well, that's a lot of possibilities because remember, this doesn't say in what order. So I can have like, you know, the first three be, um, or I can have three of them be Christian and one be non-religious, or I can have two be Christian and one one be Jewish and then the other be non-religious. I mean, there's so many different possibilities for this. So we don't want to take the direct route and try to write all of those out. Notice there's one 
missing here, right? The one that's missing is, that it can't be is zero, right? It could be one, two, three, or four, but it cannot be, it cannot be zero out of four. So at least one person being non-religious, the probability that at least one non-religious, sorry about my sloppy handwriting, is going to be equal to 1 minus the probability of none being non-religious. All right, you see what I mean here? Because it can't, it, it could be 1, 2, 3, or 4. That's what we're looking for. What it can't be is it can't be 0. And so this cannot be 0 is the complement of 1, 2, 3, 4. It's the opposite of at least 1. So the opposite of at least 1 is none. So it's 1 minus the probability of none of them. I'm going to find the probability of getting 0, and then I'm just going to subtract 1. So 1 minus the probability of none. So what's the probability of none? Well, none of them, first of all, the probability of getting a non-religious is 0.9. Or 0.1. So what's the probability of not getting, you know, not getting on 0.9, right? So well, how many of these people do I have? I have four of them. So I have 0 0.9 times 0.9 times 0.9 times 0.9. Because I got four people, none of which are going to be religious. All right. So let me enter that in my calculator. One. Well, let's do this first. Let's do one minus 0.9 raised to the fourth and I'm gonna get 0 0.3439 percent okay all right so there are some um, e examples of some probabilities that we often come encounter with in AP statistics or in a regular stats class all right thanks for joining me bye bye